external eye looks into misty gray distances, so the inner eye of the seer looks upon five more forms of consciousness, as far off as distant spirits, of which a description, however, is quite impossible. In all, one can speak of twelve stages of consciousness. The Saturn man was surrounded by eleven other kinds of beings. The four highest had had their tasks on levels of development which preceded the life of Saturn. When this life began they had already arrived at such a high stage of development that their further existence took place in worlds which lie beyond the realms of man. Therefore, we cannot and need not speak of them here. The other kinds of beings, however, seven of them in addition to the Saturn man, are all concerned in the human development. In this they act as creative powers, performing their services in a way which will be described in the following pages. When the Saturn development began, the most sublime of these beings already had attained a level of consciousness which man will reach only after his bulk in life, that is, a high creative supra-spiritual consciousness. These, creators, too, once had to pass through the stages of man. This took place on heavenly bodies which preceded Saturn. However, the connection of these beings with the development of mankind lasted until the middle of the life of Saturn. Because of their sublime, delicate body of rays, in mystery science they are called, radiating lives, or, radiating flames. Because the substance of which this body consisted had a remote resemblance to the will of man, they are also called, spirits of will. These spirits are the creators of the man of Saturn. From their bodies they pour the substance which becomes the carrier of the human Saturn consciousness. The period of development during which this takes place is called the first small Saturn cycle. In the language of Theosophy, this is the first round. The material body which man receives in this way is the first rudiment of his later physical body. One can say that the germ of the physical human body is planted during the first Saturn cycle by the spirits of will, and that at that time this germ has the dull Saturn consciousness. This first smaller Saturn cycle is followed by six others. In the course of these cycles man does not attain a higher degree of consciousness. But the material body which he has received is further elaborated. The other kinds of beings indicated above participate in this elaboration in the most diverse ways. After the spirits of will, there follow beings with a creative spiritual consciousness similar to that which man will attain on Vulcan. They are called spirits of wisdom. Christian mystery science calls them dominions, kyriotets, while it calls the spirits of will. Thrones. During the second cycle of Saturn they advance their own development to some extent, and at the same time work on the human body in such a way that a wise arrangement, a rational structure is implanted in it. To be more exact, their work on man already begins shortly after the middle of the first cycle and is completed in about the middle of the second. The third kind of spirits with the self-conscious, super-psychic object consciousness is called spirits of motion or of activity. In Christian mystery science they are called principalities, dynamis. In theosophical literature, the expression Mahat is to be found for them. From the middle of the second Saturn cycle onward they combine with the progress of their own development, 
the further elaboration of the human material body, in which they implant the capacity of movement and of forceful activity. This task comes to a conclusion around the middle of the third Saturn cycle. After this point, the work of the fourth kind of beings, the so-called spirits of form, begins. They have a self-conscious image consciousness, psychic consciousness. Christian esoteric teaching names them, powers, ecstasy. Through their work, the human material body, which previously was a kind of mobile cloud, receives a bounded, plastic form. This activity of the spirits of form is completed around the middle of the fourth Saturn cycle. Then follows the activity of the spirits of darkness, which are also called spirits of personality or of selfhood, egoism. At this stage they have a consciousness similar to the present human earthly consciousness. They inhabit the form human material body as souls, in a way similar to that in which the human soul inhabits its body today. They implant a kind of sensory organs in the body, which are the germs of the sensory organs which later develop in the human body in the course of the development of Earth. One must realize, however, that these sensory germs are still substantially different from the present sensory instruments of man. Earth man could not perceive through such sensory germs. For him, the images of the sensory instruments must first pass through a more refined ether body, which forms on the sun, and through an astral body, which owes its existence to the moon development. All this will become clear in the following chapters, but the spirits of personality can treat the images of the sensory germs through their own soul in such a way that, with their aid, they can perceive external objects, as does man during his earthly development. In their work on the human body, the spirits of personality pass through their own stage of humanity. Thus they are men from the middle of the fourth to the middle of the fifth Saturn cycle. These spirits implant selfhood, egoism in the body of man. Since they only attain their